Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Thursday. It is March the 7th, 2019. I'm going to look the ninth race from Gulfstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The ninth race from Gulfstream, it's Lounge Optional Claimer Purse, $53,000. Races for Phillies and Mares, four year olds and upwards, number one, 10,000, three times the main claim starter or strict allowance race, which number one, four races or it's never won a race on the turf since September 30th or an optional claim price of 75 fucking thousand dollars. I hate these long fucking conditions. A field of nine horses going the distance of ground of 1600 meters or the distance of ground of one mile on the Goldstream Park turf course. 1600 meters a mile. And I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look down at my notes. Just bear with me. Uh, the rails at let's see uh, t -t 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 rails at 12 feet. So that's the inner portion of the turf course. My top selection here. I'm going to take the number four horse. As my iPad craps out, the, the four horse got stormy. I'm going to go four one three five in the super factor. Four one three five super top selection. The four horse got stormy. This four year old flip by get stormy. Mark Cassie trains. Tyler Gaffleon gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 22nd of November here in New York at Aqueduct. One mile off the turf in the winter memory stakes. Throughout the horse's last two runs, he finished fifth by five and a half lengths. This horse isn't a dirt horse. You know, just didn't handle the third. It just wasn't the day to win. Before that, this horse doesn't like soft ground. She's run, you know, two really shit races on soft ground. And the most recent one came the 13th of October at Belmont, one mile in the Pebbles, and she finished seventh by 32 and a half lengths, very wide, and she just wasn't handling the ground at all. You know, this this past fall at Belmont was, you know, probably one of the worst weather-wise, you know, with with the rain in uh, my lifetime that I can remember the last 20 years. Um, you know this you know he just wasn't handling that very saturated ground and then the 21st july up north at woodbine one mile on the ontario colleen the horse won by two lengths stalked early on and got a good turn of foot and just went away with it a very good run and then at belmont at uh, one mile on the while the pause the horse won by two lengths stalked got the lead and then took off clear on that very dry turf course he's gonna like a rock hard turf course today and uh, you know has, has is a winner on uh, course and distance here at goldstream last year and breaking the main by one, three and three, three quarter lengths going away with it so um you know I, I, I just like i said throw out her last two runs because she just wasn't in her element she's getting back to a firm hopefully firm turf course today you know lesser quality horses and i just think she's sitting on a very massive race seven to two if she's on her morning line it wouldn't surprise me to see her go down in odds but it wouldn't surprise me either to see her go up in odds because a lot of people might just see the last two running lines being completely crap that they might just stay away from her so if she gets up to like six to one i'll be over the moon but i have a feeling also she might get back down to, into the ground as the favorite, but we'll have to wait and see. But to recap my selections for the ninth from Gold Street, I'm going to go with the four horse, got stormy. I'm going to go four, one, three, five in the Super Factor. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck.